23-year-old Chandler Halderson is in much worse legal trouble tonight than he was 24 hours ago. Prosecutors today charged him with killing and mutilating his father. Meanwhile, Halderson's mother is still missing. We now know more human remains were found in a new location near Sauk City yesterday. That's after uh, Bart Halderson's remains were found in the Cottage Grove area. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drought. Tonight's feature presentation is about a man from Madison, Wisconsin. He's accused of killing his mom and dad, and his alibi is he was watching YouTube, playing video games, and he has a head injury so he doesn't remember much. I want to give a special thank you to Deja Vu Ali from Texas for making this video possible. And of course, thank you and hello to my Patreons, YouTube members, and people that donate during live chat. And you can find me inside of the Cash App at Crime Circus. And let's keep this channel growing to 50,000 subscribers and up to 100,000 and beyond. But I need your help. Like the videos, leave comments, and share the links on your social media platforms. Now let's see what this cold-blooded killer has to say for himself. Hey Chandler, how are you doing? Not good. Good, good. Would you guys switch spots? Yeah. You want to sit in that red chair? Yeah. Yeah, one water. Okay. Here's the next one. Okay. No, good. What's going on? All right. Um, so we're just gonna talk to you a little bit more, okay? Um, let's write some stuff here. Another one. All right. All right. Just so you know, I'm gonna yeah. record stuff, okay? It just helps me remember everything and picks up everything that we talk about. Um, so, Brian Shunk, Detective Dane County Sheriff's Office, we spoke yesterday. Yeah, Chandler um, Halderson. Yep. Uh, what's your middle initial, Chandler? Adam. Amazon Michael. Michael. And then your birth date? 3 15 Got it. And then your cell phone I already have. We've been talking on that. Um, so, obviously, we're, we're here. We want to talk a little bit about uh, your parents going missing, right? Krista and Bart. Um, before we get started, just because you're up here, okay, so I'm just going to read you your constitutional rights, okay, so it's a Dane County issued card that they give us, um, so I'll just read them to you right off the card, okay, uh, you have the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, you have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and to have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense before or during any questioning, if you so wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the question and remain silent at any time you wish, and the right to ask for and have a lawyer at any time you wish, including during the questioning. Okay. Do you understand the rights I just read you? I do. Okay. Realizing that you have these rights, are you not willing to answer questions or make a statement? Just need a yes, right? Yeah, yes. so, so oh, yes. the, the second yes. one. Okay. So I'll just read it again. Realizing that you have these rights, are you now willing to answer questions or make a statement? Oh, uh, I will make a statement. Okay. So you understand them? You're, yeah, you're I, willing to talk I, to them. Could I have the card so I could read it? I missed some. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I can still read it. having a little bit of problems. The, the third one? I'll just I'll read it. We'll start all over. Yeah. yeah we'll just read them all again. Yeah. Be good. All right. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and to have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense before or during any questioning, if you so wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the questioning and remain silent at any time you wish, 
and the right to ask for and have a lawyer at any time you wish, including during the questioning. Okay. So then the only two questions I asked were, do you understand? Yeah, your I understand, and I am willing to make a statement. Okay, perfect. All right, um, so like, like we already said, uh, I talked to you yesterday. Um, so today is July 8th. Uh, it's about 5.11 now. We started talking at 5.08. Um, so yesterday, uh, July 7th, I came to your house um, where you live with your parents, Bart and Krista um, Helderson. And um, the reason I was there is, is you had gone to the Windsor Police Department and reported them missing, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I would think go to the department. I went to their, like, office break room mm -hmm. area. In the same building. Yeah, yeah, I think it's mixed in with the city hall. Okay. But nonetheless, a deputy yeah. came and, yes. and spoke to you. Okay. Um, so you, you reported your parents missing. We got some information from you yesterday. Um, we've been following leads last night, um, working today to, you know, go through different things, um, just trying to locate them, right? Um, so I, I guess if you want to start with Let's just go back to to last Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. I was with my dad. We, what time Wednesday? I remember it. It was kind of a bad day. Okay. Why was it a bad day? Um, well, my mom had work, so she was gone. Um, my dad and I were watching something over lunch. It was uh, The Wheel of Fortune. And we have, we normally have the couch, like, with our back facing her. The table we sat at at the end of you coming. Downstairs or upstairs? Downstairs. Okay. In that room with the TV. I tossed the ball, and I smashed the glass. Okay. With the dog. The dog, so. Uh, that, yeah, set my dad off, and we tried to clean it up. Okay. I don't know about him, but I got injured. Um, but he was mad. He didn't really talk to me too much that day. Uh, my mom got home at five, I believe. I that's her normal five twenty to five thirty. What time does she work? You know, seven thirty is when she leaves. I don't know her hours, but I know when she leaves okay. at seven thirty, and then. All the way up till five, and she she comes home five twenty five thirty. Did she come home about five twenty five thirty that day? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys are or downstairs um, just to to touch back on that quick. So the couch. So yesterday when we were down in your basement, the couches were in a bed. I he helped me put them in a bed before. Okay. And Thursday, but they put it into a bed so I could sleep near the bathroom, and the dogs sleep in that floor. So okay, they're, they'll be a lot better if they're sleeping on that floor. Downstairs floor. Yeah, just cooler for them or something. Kind of, yeah. Probably. Okay. All right. So you were tossing a ball. What type of ball was it? It's this gross, hairy tennis ball that oh, okay. Rizzo loves. All right. Just like a green tennis ball, like a normal. Yeah. Rumble. Okay. The, with the squeaker, not, not oh. like a tennis racket ball. But they don't chew dogs. those. My dog ball. chews those out of the any okay. tennis ball. They just chew the squeakers out, and then they don't play with them anymore. Um, all right. So you're just tossing that around. Um, broke the fireplace glass. Uh, you said you were injured. What type of injury? Did you I have? got a pretty deep hole in my foot. The, uh, last night, Mary looked at it and she said the reason it keeps bleeding is because there's glass in it. Oh, so, that's the. You showed us your toe. Yeah, I showed the okay. detective. Lead, uh, yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that one. It could be infected is what she's thinking, but Neosporin has been helping. Okay, good. Um, um, keeping it clean and stuff? The yeah, best you can. Best. I, I know how, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, once I, oh, Wednesday, back to Wednesday, yeah. once I got all the glass out of the dog's hair, um, she didn't sustain any injuries. Good. Um, I think even on her nose, she got it with her 
shoulder bone, I believe. Um, so glass dog. That was roughly around two. And then the rest, he didn't really talk to me. I went back to doing like a job search, kind of just shitting my day away. Just getting games, YouTube maybe. Uh, that's when I came across one of the jobs I liked. Um, but then five o'clock rolled by and we, mom came home. Um, dinner. What did you guys have Wednesday night? I couldn't tell you. Okay. Who made it? I think it was probably just stuff from the fridge. Okay. I, don't, I think we all did our own thing again. Sure. By the way, a detective at my house said something's happened, and while we were leaving, people were going inside. Is there a warrant for my house? Should there be? No, I'm just wondering if... Okay. Can we um, go in? As far as I know, they were at your house, and they were going to be there talking to you to ask if you would come up here and talk yeah, to us. Yeah, but um, Officer Haley just, like, walked pretty much in to the gate, you know, the gate on the outside. Mm -hmm. She's kind of walked in. I was, I was wondering. If was that more. when you were getting your wallet? Uh, no, we were, we were, um, I was in the car waiting to leave. I was just wondering if everything's okay. Because okay. she said something's happened. Okay. And we need to go down. All right. We'll find out what that's about. Well, has anything bad happened? Oh, not sure. All right, so so Wednesday night, mom comes home. Um, dad was angry. Was was he yelling or what was? How, how would you describe dad being angry? It was if you he would yell if you said something to him. I guess if you talk to him, if you give him his space, he'll be okay. So Wednesday night. No. Wednesday. If you just how, give him how his space. That's all we did. Just give him his space. He. You won't yell or do anything. Okay. That's all we had to do. Um, we just, Ma and I went to clean, uh, do some laundry, uh, make our beds, stuff like that. Who is we? Ma and I. Mom. Your, your mom. Okay. And that was Wednesday night. Yeah, that was, uh, we, we had an early night. No, no TV that night. Gotcha. Um, what time did your parents go to bed Wednesday night, do you think? I was in bed at 8. I, you I were? Know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I couldn't tell you when they went to bed. Okay. No worries. And you were downstairs, that's where you've been sleeping, you told me last uh, night? I was in my room Wednesday. Upstairs, okay. So, in the bedroom upstairs, and then you you slept downstairs. Why have you been sleeping downstairs again? You told me last night. The bathroom. Night. The bathroom's right I there. I need to be close. It's stairs. Yeah. I, I can't see too well in the dark yeah. night. So. Yeah. Gotcha. And just like last night, I'm jotting some notes quick. You know, yeah. it doesn't mean one thing is more important than the other. It just means that I need to remember stuff. And sometimes uh, I understand. Right now. Gotcha. All right, so did you sleep with your door closed that night or open? Oh, yeah, I always have a closed, closed door. Yeah, it makes sense. I feel like they argued a little bit after. Parents did? What were they arguing about? Probably what set my dad off that day, the glass. Okay. Um, us not having food ready and stuff like that. We, I mean, we just microwave whatever was in the fridge, I suppose. Yeah. Who was upset about that? Dad. Your dad was? Okay. You know, he usually doesn't like that. We, he likes the when we cook. Okay. I. Okay. Does he ever cook? I haven't seen him cook. Oh, he grills. He, he likes to grill. He grilled on Thursday. Nice. Right. Uh, I think I told one officer the green egg. He got, um, 
kid makes terrible food, but yeah. Dad does? Yeah. Well, the green egg. Oh, the green egg. That's like a grill or something? Yeah, it's insulated and makes everything smoky. Oh, okay. Um, it's Thursday morning. I wake up. What time is it? Six. Okay. Dogs. We talked about that yesterday. 6 a.m. is kind of your deal, right? 6 a.m.? Yeah. yeah, internal clock now. Yeah. I have used to things in a while. Right. Six. I don't often eat breakfast, so I kind of just stay in my room on my phone. Um, help my mom out getting ready in the morning. She, she left for work at 7.30. Got her um, whatever she had to do. Uh, what was it? It was meaningless tasks, like just daily like pillowcase changes and sheet changes, stuff like that. You know, in the morning before work. Yeah, this is what we always do. Um, And she's gone. Uh, my dad starts the grill around 8.39 in the morning. To, yeah, to get the temperature right. Was he working from home that day or? Yes. Okay. We, um, we ate the grill. Nothing really happened between that. We kind of either were outside with the dogs from the lighting of the grill. Him going in, taking a couple calls and now and then, or emails or something. Mm -hmm. We just kind of watched the grill and waited to get it set steady at uh, hamburgers for 350 ish. Okay. Then, so it's, yeah, we just kind of waited for the burgers. Um, and then we had, we ate noon noon 30 or 12 30 sorry sure um then we went inside and had our tv show again wheel of fortune so it was on around our time for lunch or was it family feud the family feud feud was thursday family feud um where did you guys watch that at downstairs? The same. Okay. Did you guys have a TV upstairs? I don't remember. No, no. Okay. Not a lot. Um, sorry, I'm really trying to work memory. Um, That's fine. Then, yeah, we went to go do our own things. I went back to a little bit more job searching. This time I branched into DeForest instead of just Windsor. Mm -hmm. working. He went back to work. We planned on... Something went well. Oh, we were... I don't know, something went well for him. So that's all. Um, and we were hanging out again. My mom texts. Um, I, I, I believe I texted her, everything's going well. Uh, his phone died, my dad. He, he didn't believe. He just kind of like charged it put it on the dock and left it. Um, then we just kind of hung out and my mom gets home and I uh, start the, I start uh, shrimp scampi for my dad because that's what he wanted, but we didn't have shrimp. So I, I made shrimpless scampi. Um, Uh, that's that's where they told me while we were eating it, they they were gonna go with their friends, and I was like, oh cool. 
Um, well, and they have, said they were going to the cabin. Yeah. The oh, okay. we're going up north. Up north That's the so. Who said that, mom or dad? Ma. My, my dad doesn't talk about well, eats. Okay. Um, so there we are at Thursday dinner. Up north of the cabin, my dad says, I'll need a set for pipe repair and gas. So I'm like, all right. I grab the pipe repair stuff from his um, plumbing chest, their plumbing plumbing box. It's like a, a tote of what you need for pipe repair. Mm -hmm. Um, and two whatever jerry cans, I, I can't remember the amount, but they're red with the safety nozzles. Got those squared away. They had most of their duffels already packed at that point. Mm -hmm. And we all just started bringing them down to the mud room with the shoes yeah. by the garage. Where you showed me them. Um, after that, we watched, uh, is a Netflix original, um, you know, Seven Underground, with a thrill-seeking, like, it's like, they, they fake their deaths, and they, they fly airplanes, and, um, they, like, fight at the evil of the world by being ghosts. Okay. Pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Who was watching that? The three of us. All three of you? Okay. All three of you. And that put it at nine. They had their drinks. Um, went to my computer. My computer was at that, that black table we no, sat at. Right. Sure. We saw the stuff. Um, played, played a video game called Tarkov for, until midnight. Well, after midnight, maybe even kind of lose track of time. And my parents by then were asleep. We got the toothbrush and everything. Um, then I got, I got upstairs. Oh, that was Thursday. Yeah, so I did. So we got the bed all set before they, before we played Tarkov. And that's when I crawled into bed from the, com the black table. So after our movie, we set up my, my couch bed and um, the pillows for the girls. Who helped you set the bed up? My dad. Dad, okay. Yes. He knew he was leaving and I would need that. Um, Friday morning, I woke up. They had left with the stuff it was all set out. Uh, they remembered the gas. I found the, the the folding chairs that they wanted to bring, but they never brought them. I'm assuming they could fit them. They, they, so I put those away. Um, yeah, that was Friday morning. I go upstairs, do the dog, or feed the dogs. It was around six-ish. No, 6.15 when I woke up. I was a little late that day. 6.15 for you. Okay. Uh, yes, just when I looked at my phone. Mm -hmm. Dogs. Saw my Ma's note. The insurance for my appointment. I just ate whatever's on the counter. I think it was cornbread. Where was the note from your mom? That was on the, the kitchen, like, there's a peninsula. Yeah. With the insurance stacked up. But I, I moved it to the table. Okay. And then those insurance cards were there also that we saw yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think she knew which one I would need, but I have three now. Mm-hmm. Um, Friday. Yep. So um, Friday I, I morning. hung out with Cat Friday night, I believe. What'd you do Friday during the day? Oh, oh yeah. Let's work backwards. Um, yeah. 
I kind of took the day away on the video games. Okay. Parents are gone, why not, right? Yeah, I did, didn't do anything that I should have. I should have been cleaning and all of that. Well, the house seemed pretty clean when I was there. You see all the dog hair? That, uh, that's got to be gone. It all comes along with it, right? Yeah. All right, so Friday during the day, I just played video games, kind of. Yeah, then after work, I believe that was the day Cat came over. After whose work? Cat. She is oh, after five, her work. Five is her work when she, okay. she was off. I believe she came over. Um, so she gets done around five. Okay. Is Cat came at five? You said. Uh, I don't think she went straight here after. I, I think sure she came really over. Um, it could have been later, like six, maybe give her time for like getting clothes. Um, this is after work. You mm -hmm. say? Where yeah. she work at? She works downtown Middleton. Oh, is okay. a farm tech. Okay. She. Um, I believe she stayed with me on that couch that night. So she spent the night over? Yeah. You guys both slept on the couch downstairs? Yeah. Um, What'd you do before you yeah, went to bed? It was Friday night. That might have been my own night. I might be wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. I think I spent that night alone. I just kind of gamed online uh, with some my friends. Oh, I said Saturday night. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, no worries, man. So, one night, I gamed alone all night. One night, Cat spent the night on the couch. Oh, and Sunday, she spent the night in my bed with me. She helped me out. Stairs. Sunday so, night. Sunday night. I know that because she didn't want to spend another night on the couch bed. She didn't like it. And she went to work on Monday morning. So that was the my bed night. We, um, backtracking. One night she spent on the couch with me. With, like, the couch bed we've made. Mm -hmm. But one night I gamed all night, or all day and night, pretty much, and I'm pretty sure that was Friday night, and let's go with Saturday was my night alone. Okay. So Friday, we, we believe she came over. Yes. And then Saturday was the game night. Yes. So backtracking to Friday, when she came by, we um, asked me just, um, oh, Bright, no, not Bright, um, there's this movie, or a TV series on Netflix, we watched pretty much the entirety of that into the morning, it was, um, a apocalypse show, okay. I, I don't know the name. What time do you guys think you went to bed? I say we stayed up well until 10, I would say. PM? Yeah. Okay. You gotta be at least um, the morning. Saturday, we didn't do much. She left. Um, this is when I'm really starting to notice my legs. Okay. I'm kind of having the, the anxiety and all of that, like getting a little frustrated with myself and all of that. Like I, it wasn't too bad until like last week Tuesday when I started noticing it, and Saturday was like the peak. And it's kind of stayed out like this. Okay. Peaked anxiety. And, and this kind of like set me 
like dash for some space and I just kind of gamed Saturday. Um, couldn't tell you when I went to bed. I, I think I might have even stayed up till 2. That, yeah. Yeah, it was just the same game. Escape from Tarkov. Um, I, I couldn't get a hold of any of my friends to play with, unfortunately. I, I played like some here and there mm -hmm. from Discord, but none would like, stick around for that late in the night. Sure. Then we get to Sunday. It's the 4th. In the morning, I'm a little worried about my family. I think I called my mom. Oh, throughout, I've called. I, I don't know the times, though. Throughout the weekend, I mean. But I called my mom, I believe, in the morning. There's along those lines, and I get a text from her. It was a text message. It wasn't even my message, so mm -hmm. I assume she said White Lake today. So she sent it that day. Um, I couldn't figure out where she was because it was a text. There was no I message, so I kind of just like left it at that. They're safe. They're alive. Then. Get to the afternoon. I'm talking to Dan. I call him up and I ask him, well, what he's doing. Or maybe that was the morning, but I, I called Dan that Sunday. I asked him what, he, what he's up to, if he wanted to hang out. I, I don't like being alone at the house very long. Dan is mom's co-worker slash friend? Yeah, he's okay. this guy. Go over there for he invited me for fireworks in his in his driveway. Um, he said, or you said yesterday, he lived in De Forest or Windsor, one or the other. Yeah, close. Okay, uh, I can I can point it at a map. One or the other, I think. Okay. So, throughout the day. Um, the dogs, it's just me and the dogs, the fireworks and the dogs are like running around and into things. I'm trying to keep them okay. All they're doing is knocking stuff over, spilled their water. They haven't eaten. They won't go outside for me. Um, even on a leash, I couldn't get them out. What was the deal with that? The fireworks. Oh, the fireworks are spooking them so much. Yeah, all yeah, day. I gotcha. so I, I put them both into the, the fort, crank the TV. Did that seem to help at all with them? Yeah. The, the, the loud TV helped. Um, Rizzo doesn't like, or maybe does like, New Girl, the TV show, so we watched that. <laughs> it's, the, it's the theme song that gets her, I think. She parts. <laughs> um... So we watched that. Um, Izzy fell asleep. So Izzy's the, the old dog, the older one. Yep. So it was Sunday. Right? Sunday evening, Cat comes by to help me with the girls. So uh, she, she wasn't there during the day? No, no, it was just me and the dogs. She left set a Sunday morning. Okay. From the. No, no, she left. Saturday morning because I spent oh, Saturday by Saturday. myself. Was, I see that. And yeah. then Sunday, it was just me and the girls till whenever Cat got there. We didn't eat together, I don't think. No, this is Sunday. This is Sunday. So I went to Cat's house on Sunday. I actually, yeah. So that was Sunday morning is when I left the girls. So all of Sunday morning, I had the girls in the fort and we watched New Girl. I went to Kat's house Sunday to eat, but we ended up not eating there. We went to um, Cress's house. It's 
Cottage Grove or Cascade? No, Cedarburg. It's a sea town area. Okay. okay. Um, is it where is it near? It, I've it's never. Cress. Cress. Oh, Chris. Cress. So Cress is. You seen her on my phone? Yeah, yeah. I saw the calls to her. She. That's your. Helps me out with everything. Yeah. Cat's mom's girlfriend. Mom's girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, mom's girlfriend. I, I try to talk to her as much because she's like, I don't know, wise and she really helps me with what's going on with me. Because okay. I've been in a slump, I'd say. Okay. But, um, All right. So went to Cat's house Sunday to eat. What time do you think you went over there? Food at 3.30. What I said. So about three, th three, three thirty. You went over to Cats. Oh, I was at Cats well before. I was at there noon. Okay. Noon. Let's say noon. Where does Cat live? The east side. East side of Madison. I. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know the. I'm sure I could look it up, but do you know the road at all or anything? Taffelger or Andrew Lane Taffelger. Okay. I'll look it up. That's fine. We're in the, so you went, met her Sunday about noon. Yeah. Um, what'd you guys do at her place? Well, she realized my legs, I wouldn't be able to do stuff with them. So her, her brother, and her brother's date went to a thrift store while she had me sleep. Just, okay. right, she so. just put me to bed and they went. And then they get home around 2.30. Kat and I rush back to my house, let the girls out, and we go back straight to the farm. Okay, were you at the farm before you went to let the dogs out, or? No, we were at Kat's, like, it's okay. like a duplex. So Kat's, Kat's house, Sunday around noon, um, you went to sleep with, well, Kat, her sister? Her brother, Cat's brother, and his date, and his date. Okay, sorry about that. Went to a thrift store. Then, then we went to Cress's, and we ate. Um, after that, James left after dinner, leaving his date with us, and we we took a swim. After the swim, we we left. Um, went to Cat's house to drop off his date. The date stayed at Kat's house. Uh, I think the date is a rose, maybe. Is what her name was. A rose. Um, Had you ever met her before? No, this was a Tinder match from her brother, Kat's brother. Okay. What time do you suppose you guys went to Cress's house? So, got to Cat's around noon, went to sleep. We got back. Okay. Cat and I went to my house to let the dogs out, then we left. Oh, I think we got gas. And then we went to Cress's. So, I'd say we got to. It was maybe four when we got there. We were late for dinner. But it was good because they were still setting up. Where'd you guys get gas at? Do you remember that? One of the quick trips in town. I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, when you say in town, are we talking DeForest, <laughs> Sun Prairie? DeForest, it had to be. Okay. Uh, I think we got, I, I'm still not super sure, but I know we, we were doing something on the way, or we didn't do something. I thought we were going to do a return, but I'm jumbling it right now, mm -hmm. so just have that. We went to my house and back to Crest as we were late. Okay. For dinner. What were you guys driving? Were you in your... Cat's car? red Subaru. Okay. Was she driving or you? She, she okay. drives that cat's her car. Red Subaru, you said? Yeah. She, okay. It's at my house right now. Oh, okay. And you rode with her? Yes. Um, Where'd you guys go for a swim? There's like a little pool up at the Cress's house. 
Oh, she she's been she's helping cool. me with like, my walking and everything when they get me there. Okay. Is it indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. It must have been nice with how hot it has been. Yeah, they, they got something fancy to heat it from the sun. Okay. But that was the three of us. Yeah. Then we went back to round six, now later, maybe seven. We went back to Kat's apartment, dropped off Rose, got Kat's dirty or wet clothes. She had wet clothes because she was going to dry them. And we went to my house together. So Rose got dropped off at Kat's? Yeah. The duplex okay. in the east side. Okay. Was James with you guys at that point, or? No, James left after dinner around 4.30. Oh, okay. Um, Did, was he not getting along with Rose, or? No, he had, he had work. Oh, okay. Um, well, that sucks. Working on the 4th of July. Yeah, um, something. So you drop, did Rose get dropped off at Cat's duplex, then? Yes. We'll refer to Cat's house as a duplex. Yep. Cress, Cress is the farm. Yep. We throw berries. Yep. My house is my house. That's how we refer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, where are we? Sunday night, about 7. Sunday Drop night, Rose about off 7. At cats. We get Rose dropped off. We get to my house. And we go to my house in DeForest, yep. Windsor. We feed the girls. We put her clothes that she brought, the wet stuff, in the dryer because that's what she needed to do. We get her clothes dry. Uh, that's after we get back, actually. Um, and then we go to dance. Okay. Um, for the fireworks. Like he asked us to come by 8.30. Um, for some reason, I, I was trying to leave, but I was making it a joke about it that we we're, we're gonna be late like stuff like that goofy crap uh, I drove to dance okay which car were you guys in? my dad's Subaru it's okay. a blue the one in the garage yeah gotcha then we get there we stay for 45 to an hour was, that's how I got the bottle rocket marks show me those again. that Oh, the sparks. Right, right. And I think this was something. a wad or something that oh, flew back. Shot back out of it. Yeah, that one stuck in for a little bit. That's why it's so bad that these are sparks. Okay. Those are the dance halls you got those? Dance. The dance. I, I didn't know the stick. You, you, were, you don't hold yeah. the stick. The stick <laughs> flies with it. Oh, well, <laughs> sure. I didn't know. <laughs> um. You're over at Dan's house, oh, okay. about 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, get my hands a little bit. Uh, we find a firework that it spins and takes off, and it went straight to the bush. So we were like, no more of that. We're done. Um, Did it light the bush on fire? No, no, thankfully it wasn't hot enough for that. Good. After that, we cleaned. I gave him a bottle of wine as a thank you for letting us come. I, it, thankfully, I still have a couple bottles at home. Um, while we were there, Dan had a few beers. His girlfriend was there, or fiance, or, or wife. I'm not sure their relationship, but she was there. No name? Never got her name. It's just Dan's girlfriend. She's got purple mm -hmm. hair. She's IT cool. at MATC. Mm -hmm. The school's own IT. Okay. Anybody else there? Just the two of us, and then the neighbors watched. One to our left, and one across the street. 
The one who... Um, the one across the street had some cooler stuff than I've ever seen a person be able to own, firework-wise. Um, but there, there we are. And then, then someone in the distance, kind of closer to our house, launched a, a mortar artillery firework. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, we have to go home for the darks. So we went. And that was pushing 9.30, 9.45. We got home. We uh, got into the couch for it. And put on Daybreak was the apocalypse show. Daybreak. Um, I'll put on that because we're trying to finish it. On Netflix? Yes. Um, this is Cat and I still. Yeah. She's spending the night. Um, the whole time, dogs are pushing me, nosing me, and everything. And so we kind of stop and, and stop watching, and she goes to bed. Um, I'm trying to let the dogs out, or at least go back in a little bit. But the fireworks, they, she, the, they mm -hmm. couldn't. Um, when we get to bed upstairs in my room, uh, because she doesn't like the couch, and she had work in the morning. Yeah. And I'd say that's 10-ish, 10 10, 10.30. And the whole time, the younger dog keeps jumping on us. Um, so I leave Cat in the bed, and I go sit out, out down in the, the the couches and chairs down by the real dinner table. Mm -hmm. I go sit there and just hang out with the dogs so I can't get asleep. Where we first started talking last night? Yes. Like the, the dog, main kitchen, door. dining room, and the couches? Okay, gotcha. I sit down there so I can get some sleep because I don't work tomorrow. She does. Mm -hmm. um, then I put the ladder in front of those steps so the girls can't come up. I, uh, they pee on the kitchen the tiles, so I clean that and I'm like, well, at least they went before bed, you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the worst thing. They're not going to go outside. Yeah. Then I go to bed. Okay. Then it's Monday morning. Cat goes to work 7.50-ish, maybe earlier. Then I'm left to myself, so we put on New Girl in the couch for it on Monday morning. Mm -hmm. I go back and forth through some video games and then back in video games. Back and then those don't like to stand up very good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to stretch a little bit while I'm sitting. Um, so we grow video games. This is Monday. Um, we're getting later. I have a little bit to eat for lunch. I, well, at the end of the day on Monday, I did go for the afternoon. I did go to the farm talk to Cress and Kat's mom. I told them what's happening with my health because I had the appointment at 2. Did you go to the farm before or after? After, the farm? because okay. I told them what happened to me. To and I told them the legs are probably going to be permanent and the headaches should be fixed after the hemorrhage is cleared a little bit. So, now that I'm there, I talked to their mom, um, and Crest together, and I think Kat's mom is all right with me. She's, I don't know, she wants me to move into her, the east side Kat's house okay. and start paying rent as an apartment because she doesn't like to live at home. Does Kat live with her mom, or...? 
Cat has an apartment. Okay. Somewhere. Cat does? Yeah, it's on... It's by Mifflin. Okay. The party avenue. It's by there. Um, okay. So, I'm there talking to their mom and Chris. Then I, um... Then I go up to have, you know, a breakdown by their shed, and they go swimming. Um, right by the swimming pool is the shed, so they they wanted to watch me, like, you know, break down and all that. So after I noticed they're just watching, I just walk over to them. Describe your breakdown to me. Uh, I actually cried. <laughs> Started kicking grass, just doing the toddler tantrum shit. Um, then I hopped in the water with them. Okay. So it was uh, too late. Uh, I was in the water, and I realized Crest didn't have a top, okay. um, and that was uncomfortable. But I talked to them more, and that's when she brought up the housing situation, how she doesn't like how my parents, like, are, I guess. I don't know. She doesn't, she doesn't know them that well. She's never met them. Okay. Chris was saying that? And Kat's mom. No, oh, Kat's okay. mom is, uh, speaks, is, her first thought right away. Yeah. So she's, so they're offering me to get a job live with them work for them while I'm working and pay rent and that's kind of their their deal I would have like a month free of rent or a month or two maybe if, if they're thinking mm -hmm. um, I could be able to borrow a car from Crest maybe if she's nice or not using it I'd be able to go to work and she have a lot of cars or something? no no? okay just yeah. an extra one probably she stays at the farm. Okay. So if she didn't need it, I could use it sure. to go to a job or at least interviews. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping for a job, you know, near where I live so I could bike. Uh, uh, keep me, you know, yeah. these going. I don't, wanna, I don't think they can get worse, but <laughs> I, I could keep doing it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, Where are we? Sunday. So you were swimming, swimming um, had a little okay. breakdown. What were you having a breakdown about? You ever have your legs kind right. of yeah. No, I haven't. Just, okay. just, I don't even know if they're done eating like, as bad as they, they can be yet. So yeah. that's, a, that's not fun. And you, I think you were telling me last night it was it's, it's a symptom of a concussion, right? So Is that right? that's not it. That's a, it's a symptom of nerve damage from the hit oh, to my spine. So okay. it's permanent. Okay, I understand that now better. Yeah. Um, so it's just legs. I think it's a waste feeling is probably colostomy bag down the road <laughs> and all of that. But here we are Sunday. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're sitting in the pool, we're hanging out. Um, they're just talking to me. Sometimes they're being nice, sometimes they're like making the offer, like, hey, if you move in, you can pay rent. This is a good neighborhood. Um, it's a cul-de-sac, there's parking. So, yeah, and the he said just off of Milwaukee Street, that's uh, Andrew, Andrew. Oh, okay. You take a left turn on to Andrew down Milwaukee. Yep. No. So that's it. Um, so it's a good neighborhood, kind of like the one by my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I, if I lived there, I'd at least be on doing my own thing. And then they're like, well, appreciate you stopping by, so I, I, I head out. And I go, it was Monday afternoon, I go to dinner at Cat, Cat's house on the east side. Okay. What time do you think that was? It had to be 7.30 I left the farm, which is Cress's. 7.30 p.m. 
passes is the final. Okay. So my cats. And then she's she's planning on feeding me. Um, this is Monday, correct? Yeah. It's after the farm, so I'm press. I think we just eat and cuddle a little bit. Okay. When I go home, there's the girls. Um, let them out and go to bed because I kind of had a day. Yeah. What time do you think you left her place? Cat's I'd say place? nine. About nine, okay. Um, she didn't come with you? No, I was okay. alone that night. Okay. Um, I really want to drag her away. Sure. Uh, I think she stayed at her apartment that, or her house that night, not apartment. Okay. So, there we are. Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It was just. Um, oh, Dan wakes me up, I believe, with something, or not wakes me up, I, I did the six again with the dogs and the food, but I got back in bed. I don't know if I passed out or zoned out a little bit, but, um, Dan is worried about my mom on Tuesday, I think. Did he call I or said text no, her? no word, my mom. I don't know if he called or okay. I, I think he just contacted me so I can think of. Reached out. Yeah. yeah, he reached out. Then I'm like, oh, it's Tuesday morning. They should be here. Um, a little worried. I think I called my mom that day. All right. And then... You dropped her? No, she never picked up. It's, it's always either. It's always the... the the voicemail and send voicemail. You know when you oh, yeah. So it's off out of range. I don't know the other factors that could give you that. It's like a voicemail right away. It goes right to voicemail, right? Yeah. Okay. So whatever factors can give you that. So I might have missed it. So from the time like they left, did you talk to them at all when they were I got a up text. North? You got the one text. Yeah, and I that you mentioned earlier. Don't even like it. Right? Yeah. But that was it? Nothing else. Yeah. So that's that's fishy to me, even the text, because I realized Memorial Day is when the White Lake Parade is. Oh, sure. There's no 4th of July. Maybe there's cheap drinks, but there's no parade okay. of White Lake on the 4th. So, well, maybe there is now. I realize I, I've always gone on Memorial, because that's, when, that's the sure. weekend I, I get time off from school and all of that, you don't get time off for the 4th. So so basically from the time that they're gone at the cabin in your home, you know, running around doing what you're doing, you just had one communication with mom? Yeah, that's kind of how it be I just assumed the amount of people, the where they're at, and where sure. they're all... Well, I understand. I'm just, I'm just making sure it wasn't more than one. Her not contacting, but this was the only text. Was there anything with dad? No, I... I don't even bother talking to him. He, he wouldn't use his phone while he's up there. He loves it. Oh. Do the, but, you know. Does he keep his phone on him when he's up there? No. Oh. Oh. It's usually in the car. Oh, okay. Um, my brother and I just text all the time while we're up there. We even set up wire antennas sometimes to make, make better connection. Sure. Um, okay. So here we are. Where? Tuesday. Um, Called mom, voicemail immediately. Voicemail immediately Tuesday. -ish. Where Dan Dan called, worried about mom not coming to work. Um, you had already fed the dogs and that before Dan called in or reached out to.
I got, I got a coffee at a quick trip one day. Well, I think that could have been Tuesday morning. Okay. At quick trip, I got a coffee. And I, um, I used my dad's number at a quick trip to get me the free one. Because it was the of gold. Yeah. I, I could have I could have afforded it, but you know, there's a free one and it's Tuesday or it wasn't Monday, I could have gotten a dollar one. But it was full price I believe and I, I grabbed the the coffee because it was a free one. He hasn't used it for weeks, so I grabbed that. I had a quick trip. I couldn't tell you which one, I was just driving at that point. Um When you get when you use a it's a rewards card is what they call it, right? Yeah. You need to center his phone number type or something. It. You typed it. Okay. Um, but I got a coffee. Had to be, I'm assuming, Tuesday. And I got a free one. Sweet. It's. It was terrible. Oh, it was? I, yeah, I wanted to try Karuba Gold. Yeah. It, it wasn't, wasn't bad. Um, then we're at Tuesday. Uh, cat's working up in my gaming job hunt. And then I, um, then I started trying to get the, the glass, because I've <laughs> been a little lazy on the glass. I just kind of had chairs in front of it. I just had broom and, you know, a little sweeper holder, you know, you broom it into that. Dustpan. Yeah. And I'm tossing the glass into recycling. Um, I get most of it. There's there's a bunch in the cracks of the stone that I'm picking out by hand. I, think I didn't injure myself from that, but um, just yeah. Okay. Just um, my blood was kind of on the floor, so I got the Swiffer I borrowed from Cat from the the foot. I borrowed a Swiffer to mop. I Swiffered the, the floor floor, like not the stone, but the floor. And then I got a little bit in the kitchen. And then everywhere kind of I walked, pretty much. The, the bathroom, the kitchen, and then I, I couldn't get the carpet, so I still stained that up a little crappy. Where was there a carpet at? The Trying stairs to... between basement and kitchen. Carpet. Oh, that's right. Carpet stairs. Um, I tried. I can't get it out. I don't know how to do that, but um, then all the way up to my the laundry room where I found my first aid kit. I just tried to stop all the bleeding, but I, you know, it wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. So and that blood was all coming from your left foot. Yeah, left foot hole. Left foot hole. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're talking, are we talking massive amounts of blood? Are we talking, you know, a little bit, like, describe? Um, it started as drops until I got to the bathroom. And then I got back to go grab my sock and some of the, the paper towel. And then I see the glasses in there, so I grab a tweezer and I pull it out. And then it starts mm -hmm. squirting out. And I, I got some on a, a little bit of the rock. It wasn't that bad of the rock. But it, um, I think the worst was the that floor, that like it kind of like you know like this lid puddles. Mm -hmm. It was it wasn't good. Are we talking the floor down in the basement? Well, that one, um, and then I go upstairs to the kitchen, and it's still going. And I'm trying to get my foot in the sink just to slow it down and pinch it, maybe. Okay. Um, and then I waddle upstairs to the the, the IFAC or the, the first aid first kit. kit. And um, once I got it kind of bundled up, that's it stopped for, for what I know. Then I go, I need to get some tape. Um, we have a tape box in the basement. I go there and I, I opened it up again. 
I bled a little bit more, but the basement was easy to clean. It's just cement, mm -hmm. just a little bit of water, and I rigged that up. But I grabbed a tape box and I wrapped it. Um, after that, that was that's Tuesday. Yep. That's Tuesday. Wings. I go to Cats. Oh, okay. We had wings. What time? Um. I've been doing the BS of first aid and all that. I go to Kat's house with her mom and her brother. That could have been five or six. I can't give you the exact. Did you guys pick up the wings and go there? Or? No, I I drove to Kat's. Okay. Straight there. Um, Would you drive? The Subaru. So right. Car of choice. I just, on the, with the Volvo seat, it like, just, you know, I can't do it with my foot. Okay. Um, so the, we're talking about wings. Did you guys go pick wings. up wings? Or? Yeah, so we get there, and we're calling around, seeing what's up. James is getting home with Jimmy John's. Um, and we're like, oh, don't eat all of it. He's like, oh, I'm hungry now. I'll do all that post gym crap thing. You know, <laughs> like, so he grabs, eats half of his sandwich, and then we go cat and I, the two of us in my car, we go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Do you remember which one? I couldn't tell you. Okay. I don't know. Had to be east, right? That's close to yeah. the edge. It's by a mall. Probably east on the It's by a mall. There's a mall. Um, we go in, we get the wings, we go out. We go to Cats, we eat. Um, we watch this movie, Pretty in Pink or something. It's about a girl with, that likes fashion and goes to Harvard. Is that on Netflix or is it on TV? They have like everything there. I didn't. I didn't know. All right, so we get the wings at Cats. Watch Pretty in Pink. Yeah, it's what it is a mom's choice. But um, all the four of us had yeah, we all ate. Okay. And then went upstairs, lay down in her bed for a few minutes. letting the food settle or yeah hanging out um, notice she's kind of falling asleep so I'm like okay I'm ready to get out of here and I go home get the girls all ready for bed going outside get them water what time do you think you made it home say nine the latest. Um, so girls, water, you know, not really food, they could eat before, but water and play, like indoor playtime and yeah. bathroom. Sure. So, did you guys go to, so you were home alone then? Um, uh, I've been home alone this whole weekend, really, except when Cat comes. Yeah, yeah. So Cat didn't come that night. Now we're, we're pushing Wednesday, aren't we? Um, what time do you think you went to bed on Tuesday night? Um, probably we'd be getting close to when I got home, 10 at the latest. Okay. I've kind of been tired lately. Sure. Um, then the morning on Sunday? No, wait, where are we? Wednesday. Wednesday, okay, so Wednesday. Um, I try to go to the farm, and I keep spamming Cress, and spamming Cress. I kind of need someone to talk to because I'm freaking out about my parents. Um, Jane's calling me. I give her the address to go to the farm, or er, to, the, to the cabin. Jane, Jane Helgendorf. 
um, never picked up from Cress, so I go home. Um, Did you drive over to the farm, or? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because she wasn't answering her phone, right? So no, I, I got close, but then I realized I can't just show up. They're, they'd shoot me. I don't know what I drive. Or what I look like with a hat on. They got guns over there, or would they actually shoot you? No, I'm just saying. They're, they're, her dad lives there. He's he's 90. He he got a buck when he was 95 or something. And so I, I know if he didn't know who I was, he could have. Yeah. So he, he's, he's old. But if he can use a gun. That's why I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. So Cress's dad lives there too. Yeah. Who's play, is it Cress's farm or dad's it's farm? It's her dad's. He built it. Oh, okay. And then she lives there. there. She's okay. managing the property because he's in a chair. Yeah, he's old. Um, so then, it's, it's not really the farm, it's a, it's a farm like hobby farm. Yeah, yeah, okay, I gotcha. They I haven't ever been there. Let before. wildflowers grow for the, the bees, that's pretty much it. And their own berries, but it's, um, then here we are, I turn around, and then I'm, Jane calls, I get a picture of the property at the cabin, and I see that, so I'm looking at the cabin, and then it doesn't look right, there's a birch tree in, in front, and I, I didn't like the look of it, because mm -hmm. that didn't, that didn't just sit right with me a little bit, but I still it looked like tracks were pushed down into the grass a little bit, I don't know, in the picture. And Mike said there was like light tracks, like someone was there. Where was the birch tree at? It looked like it was in the middle of the drive. And sometimes we do do that. We, we find a fallen log and we put it like a, you know, a double door entrance. Mm -hmm. So you go in from the gate, you park, you move the next, and then you drive yeah sure so that's like the only security we can get up there um some we have done that before the grass is overgrown but that's from the storm and the fallen trees mm -hmm. you can't mow there because the flowers So with the birch tree, I mean, if you guys typically put stuff down like security, why why did it look weird to you this time? I've never seen that log. We have okay. we have this log that's that close been to the shed. It's I would say closer to petrified than rotten. It's hard, like really hard. Yeah, I don't know what kind of tree, but that's what my dad and I use when we go. So you typically use the same tree, this one just seemed out of place too. Yeah, it, that's not the tree we use. Gotcha. Um, where are we? Wednesday morning, uh, Jane sends you a picture of the cabin. You see the birch tree and look All right. right to you. Then I go to the police station because I ask her, when should I make a thing? A uh, point or at the... Uh, Wednesday morning, you said you went to the police department. Yeah, to make a. I'll talk to him about my parents, and um, then I met with three sheriffs. that came three, you said? Three. There was a Sealy. He's bearded. The guy that drove me here. I'm not sure the name. And then Collins, uh, she was also Collins. doing canvassing. Mm -hmm. So canvassing. So here we are, throws three. I get the questions answered. And then, oh, then we go to my house. And then there's three more, the same three sheriffs. Um, so they talk to you at the police station or wherever you get... You yeah, it gets so information and stuff. And like then that. they came to your house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. And it's probably about, then I came a couple hours later. They were there questioning, you're here now questioning. Mm -hmm. And then that night, they, or, or night or night, Wednesday. Wednesday night, I um, go to Dan and Mary's. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. What time do you think? They feed me, um, I had probably 7, 7.30. And you said you went to? To Anna Mary Sesto, or Mary Sesto and Dan something a bitch. So, so, so Mary Sesto's house. Mary Sesto's house. It's it's um, on the same road as yours. Much. Yeah. Okay. And just up the curves. Around the corner. For dinner you went there? Yeah. Well, they just fed me. They didn't eat. Okay. They just wanted to brainstorm. Any good ideas come out of it? No. Okay. So you said you we went only could think of Dan and Dan's been here. Yeah. So you said you went to the, the police department to talk about your parents. What just tell me what exactly did you talk about your parents with the deputies about? Oh, we're making a report. A okay. report. That I thought I had to do that at a at a station. Okay. And you were reporting like what were you reporting exactly? Just I just want to write down and yeah. have it on there. Uh, they're missing this. Okay. They're missing this. Okay. Gotcha. And as far as as far as you know, um, I mean, were you able to tell? We've gone into a lot of detail last night and tonight, right? Yeah. Do you think that you gave them? as much information as you've given me or do you think that we've you've asked way more, more questions yeah. you've been asked about my injuries yeah. and the bleeding and the fireplace you yeah. know um the sheriffs kind of gave what they need to make reports and you've just asked about like home life everything right okay uh so you you got more in depth yeah i think um Wednesday, here we are, and throughout the weekend, I've been calling. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Um, I'm just kind of look at some things here. So we started Wednesday. Um, Mom had work. You and your dad watched Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to kind of read stuff back through a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we kind of ended it last night because that's I've been talking to you since then, you know, so I don't think there's much else that I need you to tell me from last night. Um, so watching Wheel of Fortune, uh, you're on the couch, table downstairs, or couch with the back to the table downstairs, and tossing the, the ball around for the dog and broke the glass fireplace. Um, your foot gets hurt, dad gets mad. Right? Yeah. Mom left for work in the morning, comes home later on. Um, dog was fine, not injured at all. Was it the dog or the ball that crashed into the glass? Both. The ball bounced it, but the, the dog okay. hit it with the shoulder. Okay. That's how it broke. It, it went, the ball went have done it. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Um, all right. Um, playing games, watching YouTube, job search. I'm just going to still reading out loud, just make sure I don't have any questions. Um, you guys typically make your beds every day? Look like they were made yesterday when I was there. Yes. Okay. We usually use sheets every few days in beds. You change the sheets every day? Every few. Yeah. They get changed. I was say, that's cool. In the bases. Or the dog hair, it's kind of hard to sleep. Yeah, they probably do have some pretty long hair. In the heat, they should. Um, but... Oh, um, yeah, yeah no, that's, no, that's fine. Um, I get it, I got a dog, he sheds too, but you got two of them. <laughs> you know? Alright. As far as... As far as the blood on your foot... Um, how did you clean that up? So we we were talking. You got you had blood on Swiffer wet jet. Okay, Swiffer wet jet. And where did you get that from? Cat let me borrow it. Um, where is it at now? I returned it to Cat. And yeah. I don't know where it's 
head now. He just brought it back. Um, gave it back to her. Um, Did you use anything else? Hydrogen peroxide for the, the tiles and the hard floors. Um, just the big globs needed a little bit. Hydrogen peroxide. Did that seem to help get rid of the blood? Well, it hurt my foot. Uh, that stuff, um, it didn't really help. Okay. It kind of just made a mess. And when you say only on tiles, I'm trying to remember your house. I couldn't do carpet with it. It yeah. would ruin the carpet, right? It would, uh, I think so. Um, um, tiles, are we talking kitchen? Because downstairs yeah. is just like cement. Well, when I had some blood on the basement, I used the peroxide. Okay, basement floor and tiles in the kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I peroxided. There it wasn't as much. Like, there were like this size pools in the kitchen. Okay. I was pinching it pretty dang hard, but, which was also cutting deeper because yeah. I had another, or might still have another piece of glass. Is so, that the biggest pool that you saw was something? This was downstairs. Okay. This was kind of on the stone, close to the glass, and then there was one right at the base, kind of where the chairs I put. Okay. Like a good Two three inch mm -hmm. diameter. Two three inch diameter. Okay. Um, more than that. Um, Did you do anything to? So I wrote down on Tuesday that you tried getting the glass cleaned up in the basement. Um, tossed it in the glass or glass and recycling. Did you clean up at all when it actually happened? No, my dad was furious. So, you just uh, so he he did stuff to clean it. Yeah, I don't know what he did, but I he sent me to my room upstairs and he did whatever he did. But it still was on the floor after he was done. Okay. Um. Did your dad get injured at all when the glass broke? Did he step on any of it? He sent me up. I don't doubt it. When he gets mad, he's not thinking. So uh, we don't know if your dad got hurt? No. Okay. No. But my best guess is that guy reached in the fireplace and cut off his arm or something. I don't know. So, uh, head pain? Do you guys have like Tylenol or something? I, I, I know you guys can't really yeah, offer yeah, anything yeah. like that. But like a headache? Yeah, I've been getting the migraines from all of the, the hits and stuff. Yeah, um, I can try to give you something. Mm -hmm. um, so, alright, so cleaning up the blood, we just got the Swiffer and the, and the hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, um, just kind of smeared it around. There's, Uh, there's another uh, paper toweling, yeah, the, just that. Okay. And then there's, I don't know. Where did all those paper towels go? Just in the trash? Yeah. Um, some. Just everywhere in my car trash, in my, my trash. Um, they ended up in the car trash? There's a bag in the car that I carry around. It's a car trash. Oh, okay. It's like a gallon bag. Okay. That's more portable than the garbage can. So, yeah, bloody rag after bloody rag, just trying to get it all up. And, mm -hmm. I don't know, it was, it was a lot. I I didn't feel sick, so it couldn't have been that much, right? Yeah, you didn't lose enough to pass out or anything. Is there any reason to believe mom or dad's blood would be somewhere in the house? Have they been injured at all that you're aware of? Well, my dad scratches his psoriasis till he, like, gushes blood. Okay. Gushing. Um, describe gushing to me. Enough to run down your leg, like, um, like, cover your leg, I suppose. Like, he has it on his knee. So when he does this, it just, like, Rips oh, nice. down 
Yeah, I asked him to stop, but he doesn't do it when he's stressed out. Yeah. He, he just kind of like, it's his tech. He's, yeah, probably itches. Does he, um, like, does it enough to get on the floor? Does it leave? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like how much, like, before we were talking the water bottle lid and the Yeti lid, is there, I mean, like, are we talking puddles like that or just ribbons oh. or? It could be enough. Okay. But I'm thinking Yeti lid if he's there and I don't catch him soon enough. Oh, jeez. My ma's blood, um, just from her bloody noses she gets sometimes when she wakes up. Uh, that's why we've been doing uh, the dehumidifier, or humidifier and dehumidifiers. Yeah. Probably downstairs you get the We ha We have to do multiple of them, but she can't be in the living room too long because that's a dehumidifier. Yeah. You know, if she does, she, her nose gets bad. Not like a regular one, she gets it bad. Um, but she either goes to the kitchen to fix it, her vanity, or the bathroom. Um, when she has bloody noses, are we talking, is it just spraying around, is it just dripping? Well, it's not squirting, but it's just dripping and she ocean. doesn't notice it. Okay. She can't feel it anymore. Okay. Um... Is there any reason to believe that in either one of their vehicles there would be any of their blood? Their vehicles? Yeah. Or anybody's vehicle, let's say that. Um, maybe car yeah. trash. Mom's car trash would definitely, the past few days. My dad's car trash. Why, um, why would they have blood in their car trashes? Well, my mom does the bloody noses with the air conditioning, so oh, okay. in the, when we have air conditioning, my mom will, will have to use, um, uh, bring towels and stuff, yeah. because in the hot days, you can't have your windows open, you'll, you won't drive well. No. So air conditioning, my mom will have nose boots. Um, my dad hasn't had them as much as she does, but he gets them. Okay. Um, his are worse than my ma's. Does but, she ever get them in the house then, or? Um, mostly just with air conditioning. Okay. And sometimes, sometimes with a dehumidifier. Okay. Me, personally, just in air conditioning. Mm hmm I get them, but I'm not as bad as my parents. I, it's, um, not bad. Okay. Is he okay? Mitch? Yeah, did he make it? I know, that's a long drive for him. He hasn't called to. Yeah, he hasn't called me at all, so I don't know. I don't I, think I they've don't ever know. done a trip like that. So yeah, it's like three hours, three and a half of it. Mitch okay. 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 Um As far as up at the cabin, when do you think the last time you were up there? Personally last year. Last year, Memorial Day, I believe. If it wasn't the weekend before Memorial. I didn't make the parade. I never got to go last year. When do you think the last time your mom or dad were at the cabin before? My dad went when my brother was diagnosed with diabetes. When was that? The weekend before my concussion. So, one, two, three. Not including this week, three, four, yeah, four, four weeks. Is your brother doing up? Brother doing okay. He wasn't born with diabetes. Though. No, this was. Okay. It gets the kind you're born you with. In June of this year, like three, four weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. He went up. Notice uh, our plumbing's gone to crap, and he bought a new uh, set, or something at a, a flea farmer at Home Depot, or it's like a. 
it's like a four-way converter type thing for the plumbing. Okay. Something for the cabin. Yeah, for the cabin. It's for like a toilet or. Yeah, we have, we have a toilet up there actually now. Nice. Um, Not just an outhouse. No, there is an outhouse. Yeah, you want an aspirin? I got um, yeah, I appreciate that. Cool. What did you say? I got Advil. Does that work? Yeah. I was like, I thought you said add or on. No, I don't know. No, that. Not, not that. Just add, but <laughs> just over the counter stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Like three of them work? Yeah. Appreciate it. You bet. I'll drop my man. Thanks, Tim. Yep. Just add on them, right? You put them on, you put them on your mouth already? <laughs> Never mind. There they are. Nope, I just got. Uh, so the plumbing went through crap. Serum. <laughs> no, no. Is it is just it like uh, the, the, was it a sink or a toilet or what was it with the plumbing that went bad? Um, so when we have to pour water in every time we go up to start the pump. Oh, okay. So some reason by pouring water in, the water never rose in the toilet bowl apparently, so you couldn't flush it. You know, it, it, the water didn't come to the toilet. Mm -hmm. um, so. You need a new thing to stop whatever the problem was, I think, leaking. I don't know, I didn't hear everything from him. Sure. How did he find out about that? He? Yeah. How did he know that there was a plumbing issue up there? Well, he went up there just to go see the cabin. Oh, so when he went up a couple weeks ago, he realized an issue. This time, he wanted to fix it. Yeah, well, he fixed the, the major issue, so it won't be flooding the, the house okay. or the cabin. No, he wanted the pipe set to redo it. Okay. Because we, we need new pipes because they're lead. And I think we might be moving to plastic because there's no water heat. We can do plastic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out what that part was. But that was when Mitch diabetes, the, the number one. Did Mitch go up there with him? When no. Well, on my mom and I were kind of with Mitch all that weekend okay, doing so stuff. Dad just went to Wallen. Yep. And then later that week, I had my fall. And I, I just started getting my memory back. Okay. So... <laughs> Where did the, his mom been up there this year at all? Mom has not been up there this year. Okay. Does he kind of do his own thing, or? Um, Mitch hasn't lived with us, or you know, like, he's got a family now, a oh, dog or girlfriend, no kids, but cool. It's kind of you know, I'm just out of time. You know how it yeah. is with brothers. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. He's flew the coop. Um, <laughs> Got a few of myself. Yeah. All right. I've started thinking about that myself, and my parents are trying to figure that out with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bill, I'm going to go right up like that. We got all the background, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. So, I think it's time we start talking about what happened to your parents. Mm -hmm. Like, the truthful version. Okay. Okay. So we have like 20 pages of writing. We're gonna start with a clean white piece of paper for you to start telling the truth. Okay. What? Because listen, listen to me. This is the only chance you're gonna have to tell us the truth. Okay. Okay. What we listen, listen. I'm, I can't tell you what we know, but we know you're not telling us the truth. We know your parents are no longer with us. Okay. And we know the reason why. Okay. You need to tell the truth. There's. Listen. Listen. You need to tell the truth about what happened, and just tell us why it happened. Okay? If something happened, if you were defending yourself, or if you just uh, got fed up with stuff, you need to tell us the truth. Okay? This is your chance to tell us why. Okay? I'm not BSing you. Okay? So can we do that? Okay. You're okay. Um... What happened? Okay. Can Look, you know what happened? We're not going to tell you what happened. You know what happened. You were there when it happened. We're not BSing you, okay? I wasn't there when it happened. Can I? 
we know more and, than you think we know. I understand. But there's people that have told us things. We have we have evidence. We have proof that more has happened. Okay. So your parents never made it to the cabin. I think you know that. I just have a if you want to stand up and swing it over here for me. Do you have any in your pockets at all? Wallet. Just a wallet to just put in there. Oh. Okay. What's this right here? Faith in the corn Okay. So they they won't take the vape down in the jail. Okay. Where's your coin purse at? You just took it. Oh, that's a vape and a coin purse. No, oh, it's in. Oh, in. I got you. Okay. So, just gonna make sure you don't have anything. Thank you. 